Hello, hello, hello. Um, welcome or welcome to Norris Cove. I'm Yoshida. You guys, we are going to hop right on in. Today, I'll be closing out my August budget. And I'm taking you guys along with me. I normally kind of don't share this process because I feel like my process is a little different than what others do. But I'm going to just break it down for you how me being self-employed, how I do mine. I am going to add something a little different. Um, this is how I used to budget. I still have this budget sheet. It is in my financial bundle that I have on my website. And it's just listing your expenses without a date, um, your income and all of that great stuff. So what I normally do, I think I, I don't think I've ever done a bunch of clothes out. I don't know. I got to look and see. But um, how I do it, let me explain the process. I'm going to try my best not to be long-winded. I'm going to try my best not to get sidetracked, okay? I'm going to focus. <laughs> but what I do is put the actuals to things. That's how I do it. That's my budget closeout. And then I add up. And then I look at, okay, because what happens when I do the actuals, it gives me a roundabout, especially being self-employed. I knew my dog was going to do this. I knew he was going to open this door when I got to talking because he thinks I'm talking to somebody else. Hold on. Y'all, I apologize for that small interruption. But anyway, so I like to put the actuals. So we're going to hop on in. But today I was saying I'm doing something a little different. I'm going to use some highlighters. And what I'm highlighting is um, pretty much my income right now. Um, I do highlight my expenses during the regular, I guess, but I haven't been up with that. I'm not even gonna lie. So we're gonna give hair this one here. Okay, put that over here. It doesn't matter, we have more room over here. So for this brown one, it's gonna be hair. For this green one, it's gonna be Shopify. And then for this one here, it's going to be miscellaneous. This is like a orangey red. And the reason I'm doing this now with the highlighter is because I mean, I can easily go in here and put actual and, you know, whatever, but I like to know and I can see it. So that way I'll have a brighter view of where my money is coming from. Now, if you're new here, miscellaneous is if I did nails, um, now Instacart, I sold something um, online or even just out of my home, anything, just something small. I may have gotten a debit card or whatever you call that uh gift card or something like that and i used it to purchase something or maybe later on went towards me paying a bill or a cash envelope or something like that so that's what we'll do i guesstimated 3500 projected 3500 for the month of august i'm gonna compare the two and as you can see here let me zoom in on my budget breakdown i said 2500 and then miscellaneous 12. So now I went through my income, my weeks. As you can see, I did a little divvy and breakdown and over here, like the extra money that I made. And then y'all, I thought I was done with my income and then I wasn't. So really we had 1610 and miscellaneous. And Shopify ended up, this is not even right. It ended up being like, did I write it down? I think this is at 649.88 because another something came in. And then 54, I mean 54.77 plus a cash tip through 
Instacart. Now these are with tips included, but then that $10 cash. So that makes that $64.77. I did not add that to the miscellaneous. So let me add that plus $64.77. Seventy-seven, or is that with the income? No, it's not, because that was later on after I had did that, and then do 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 do. It should total up to roughly around this five thousand here, and then I have twenty-nine twenty-eight, and then I made an extra thirty dollars. Let me let me go back. I think that's with the thirty included. It may not be. I'm gonna add that thirty, so it's twenty-nine fifty-eight. So $29.58, okay. So three of my incomes, these are just a wrap of things that I've, like I said, sold online, different income coming in, maybe hubby gave me some extra money or whatever, that's that miscellaneous. And a lot of times I just don't list it as income, I always put miscellaneous, I just feel like it's like, Maybe not necessarily nobody's business, but <laughs> it just comes. So anyway, and like one month I got like six hundred dollars in random checks. Like obviously I was a part of a lawsuit or something where people were suing somebody or for something and I got my money. Didn't even know it. So I'm gonna add those up. Twenty nine fifty eight plus 49. So that was $5,282.65. So what I made in income last month. I put a little period here, but um, that is not supposed to be there. So if we look at it, the most of my income comes from me doing hair. And as you all can see, I rounded September out at 3,000 because that's just about where we're hitting um, hair. On the low end would probably be 2,000. On the high end, it's about three. I remember on the high end it being 5,000 and I just wasn't doing right with my money. Um, Shopify, this month was like a eh, an eh kind of month. And I looked at my analytics for, y'all, I look at numbers all day, believe it or not. Um, I looked at my analytics for Shopify. And the reason this number is as high as it is, is because I did a pen, rele a pen pouch release. And even those who may have bought pen pouches, they may have came, some people just came in for the pen pouch. Some people came in to look at the pen pouch and then they go, they bought something else along with the pen pouch. Some people just saw a post and oh, hey, let me go check her out. And they may have bought something else, but no pen pouch. So um, I wanna do a video on starting a Etsy Shopify shop. Cause one lesson that I learned doing that is that you don't need 20 items to release something to bring people to your shop. You just need one to two good items. That release only released two things and that was the bulk of this money. Okay. And miscellaneous, like I said, um, that was $16.10 plus $64.77. I should have done a total. I'm just kind of breaking down my process. Like I said, I know others do it differently. Um, so it was $16.74. And 77 cents. Yeah, I know a lot of people do it differently, but I wanted to highlight my income. So now the process. So I'll go over here to hair and see what I have the actual. We actually made $29.58. And then Shopify made, see, I estimated $500. And I actually made $649.88. And then miscellaneous, I said $1,200. And actuality, I made. 610, well, 1674, because I'm tired of white out, y'all. And then my total here is 
$282.65. So I normally don't show this process, um, but like I said, I wanted to, this is how I close out my budget. And then this is what I want to do. So then I go in and I look at my actual, of what I paid. Now, I'm sorry, it seems like I got like a big tongue. I'm always, <laughs> I don't mean to do it. So I can use this and see here, I'm gonna put in the actual amount. Like I said, I never saw Insta Ink come out. I'm sure it came out, I just don't know where. So I'll go in and look at this. As you can see, I've this is really what I go by. So this is 363.20, which is my card note. So I'll go in and do that. I know that I got paid and that was accurate. Um, now with T-Mobile, T-Mobile is a little tricky. I have $400 down in both places. Um, I think I paid a little bit more than 400. I'm gonna put it at like 426, okay? Because, here so that's what I'll go back and do sorry about that let me see T-Mobile I'll just go back and do that and then I'll add that it was plus 26 and then Barclays I put as you can see I did the math there um, I only spent 84 where I said I was going to do 200 and let me just highlight that And then pretty much I just add all of these things up to get my actual of what I spent out. And I think I already did this, but I'm gonna go through, add these up, do the corrections and I'll come back. Okay, as you can see, 25.79.45 is what I actually end up paying. And then here I put it was 24.04.27. So I paid out more and I just need to see why. Um, like I said, I kinda know the reason why for some of it. It's that, first of all, it's the cell phone bill for me. That cell phone bill, I probably ended up, well, I know I paid it extra more than what I thought I would. Um, and then I might have left Shopify empty, not sure, but I believe that I filled this in later. So Shopify, which is pretty good because sometimes that could go up to $200, depends on um, what kind of month that the shop has. So that is what we was, uh, let me find another highlighter. I'm gonna use the gray. No, I think I'm gonna use pink. So these were my expenses. Now, what I want to start doing is calculating up what I truly put into these envelopes. I haven't been keeping um, accurate on my envelopes of like what I'm taking in, but now I need to start keeping up on that. So next month, I'm gonna to try to do a better job, September. And then that way I can compare what I've put into sinking funds and what I've put into cash envelopes. I'm mainly concerned about my income. That's my end of the month closeout process is being concerned that these numbers here, this is how I base my income. This is how I can tell a creditor or whoever, if I wanna go buy a car, and they say, well, how much do you make a month? I can tell them, I make $5,282 a month, where I may go somewhere, if it depends, and I may say, I wanna be on the low end, I make $3,000 a month, okay? So that's how I close out my budget, that's how I like to look and see where my money came from this month, um, then I look at to where it went out, so if I made, 52.82 and these were my expenses yeah two yeah and these were my expenses so let's subtract that from 52.82 so 
$270. And no, excuse me, 2000 Yeah, girl, get it together. <laughs> excuse me, 2700 Oh my God, $2,703.20. I don't know what is going on for me. I just woke up from a nap, so maybe that's it. I had to have a little pre-K nap, so maybe that's just it. But anyway, $2,703.20 is what I had left over. And here I said I was going to do $1,930 and then $480. Let's add that up. <laughs> Let's add that up. Let's just add it up. Like, Yoshida, what? This don't even make sense. This can't be $900. Well, yeah, we had the house. Well, anyway, I'm not even going to add that up because that doesn't even make sense. Like, that doesn't even add up to $19.30. And y'all just saw my budget, <laughs> how I screwed my September budget up. I'm not even going to do that. But, um, like, here I got $4,000. It would be $4,814.47 with... Um, my expenses and my sinking funds and cash envelopes. I don't think that happened. But like I said, going forward now, I'll always do this. Again, this is how I close out my budget. It's really just expenses for me. I like to keep track of that every month so that I can kind of base next month off of it. So like September, I can tell you guys, okay, in September, matter of fact, let's take a look at September. Um, I didn't mean to be a little long-winded today, but um, let's just take a look so we can see and guesstimate. Again, when you're self-employed, like a lot of people say, well, how do you know what you can afford? And this is my process. Been my process for a very, very long time. So this was August. I like to kind of put my stuff where it goes. I'm gonna stop right here for right now. So here is my September right here. And I still didn't fix that. I, I caught the mistake, you guys. For those of you who watched that um, video, I caught the mistake as I was watching the video. So for September, see, I moved hair up to $3,000. Um, Shopify, I bumped to $500. Last month, where did we have it? We had it at $4. No, we had no. Yeah, we had it at five hundred last month. Miscellaneous, I said twelve. This month, I put my miscellaneous at two hundred. But again, that can always change. So we'll do next month with this month's close out next time, and you guys can see. I, like I said, I could bump that up, and I know that's going to be more. But again, my miscellaneous income is like now Instacart. My husband gives me money or whatever, and then I just turn that into income but I don't include that into my hair I don't include that into the Shopify I even put my nail when I do nails I put that income into miscellaneous because any day I may quit okay <laughs> and any day I may stop doing nails I may be like I don't want to do this no more and I don't and that's just how I roll with um the nail income because I really just enjoy doing mine it's just therapeutic for me I, I don't know. And I do my daughter's. When she comes home, I do hers. But um, other than that, I just really, and I like my space. I just don't want to, you know, sometimes I like to hoard the product. So I may quit doing nails at any time, but it is great money. When I did it last month, it was merely for me to go on vacation with. It was not for pleasure of, you know, for me to play with or pay bills with. But that is my August close out if you have any questions um concerning my process or something that you didn't understand because i would love to explain it to you if you don't like i said i'm self-employed mine is a little different because i don't get a paycheck and like i said my main concern for me is my income because like i said in order for me to qualify for something even a loan um like today i did a um did it again i did a credit card I had to make a payment on a credit card and they said I needed to update my income and I bumped it up unknowingly but I bumped it up to 5500 but as you can see we were close and so I updated my income because what happens like if I needed to get extended credit they can extend me credit now because of my increased income because before I might have had that at 4000 now I don't make 4000 so 
you see how that works for me. But again, I know mine is different from other people's. Like I said, next month will be a total different process. I'll be trying to do um, pay more attention. But I like the way I close out my budget. And like I said, it just works for me. And again, if you have any more questions, let me know. Sorry for the ramble. But if you're new here and you enjoyed today's video and you would love to see more from me, your girl, your Sheeta, let me know. I would love to have you and welcome you to the Cove. So do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also, hit that notification bell. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.